What is Workflowy and is it the best type of outlining app for you? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the Become a Writer Today channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you one of my favorite outlining apps that I've been using quite a bit lately. It's called Workflowy and you can use it for anything from managing your to-do list to managing agendas to managing your notes to outlining articles, book chapters and more. I'm going to walk through all of that in this video talk about some of the pros and cons of using Workflowy and explain what you should know about these types of outlining apps. Hope you enjoyed the content in this video all about Workflowy. If you do hit thumbs up and if you want to get more videos like this or about other writing apps then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're not familiar with Workflowy it's a popular outlining app that was first built in 2010 so it's been around for quite a while. And you can see here on the homepage that they've cited uh, some high profile users, including Ev Williams, the founder of Medium and Twitter and Blogger. Workflowy is free to try out, but to be honest, you're going to quickly hit a cap in terms of what you can do inside of the app. So it's actually going to cost you $4.99 per month, and I'll explain the cap that you'll hit uh, in a few moments. So you can access it via your web browser or you can download apps uh, to your Mac or to your Windows computer or you can access it on iOS or on Android. Now Workflowy does a number of things well. It's great for capturing ideas, for organizing your information, for finding all of your notes and also for collaborating with other people on your team. It has some advanced features like Kanban boards for, personal, for uh, productivity management. You can add files and images and you can also uh, tag up all of your notes inside of Workflowy. And they've also uh, replicated some features that the uh, app Roam uses uh, mirrors, which I'll show you inside of the app as well. Um, you can also expand and collapse all of your notes. And I'm going to show you my instance of Workflowy to explain how this works. And you can collaborate and share your notes with other people on your team. And Workflow claims over 3 million users worldwide. So you can be relatively assured that you're using an app that has been tried and tested and which just works. And that's probably one of the key selling points of Workflowy. Uh, so I did call out uh, the apps that it's, or where Workflow is available, but it's actually also available on Linux uh, as well, which I didn't mention. And of course you can access it via your web browser. So to show you Workflow in action, I'm gonna go over to my instance of Workflow and talk through how to use this app. Opened up Workflowy on my Mac. The first thing to point out is that it's incredibly keyboard friendly. So although you can navigate it with your mouse, if you take time to learn these keyboard shortcuts, you can actually save yourself a lot of time inside of Workflowy. On the left hand side, you'll see all of the parent nodes and each parent node has a child node. Now to explain how these work, I'm just gonna create a new node and start writing into it. So I'm gonna call this node, uh, what can you use Workflowy? Four. And now you see it's presented me with a bullet point. So I'm going to start writing down some ideas about what you could use an outlining app like this for. So meeting agendas, quick notes, uh, article outlines, book chapter outlines um, for sharing ideas with others, brainstorming. Shopping lists, packing lists, to-do lists, basically anything that's a list. Uh, now the other great thing that Workflowy is that you can dive into each one of these what are called parent nodes and write more into a child node. So let's say I was creating a packing list for a trip. Well, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command and go into this child node. And now you can see I'm presented uh, with a, another list where I can start writing down things that I need for my trip. So I'm gonna put things like a toothbrush, um, trousers, jumper, uh, bag, charger, cables, phone. And then if I want to go back to the previous node, I can use a keyboard shortcut and I can expand or collapse uh, this parent node and move it up and down. So if I want to expand the parent node, you can see all of the items inside of the list. And if I want to collapse it, um, I can have it sitting uh, under all of the other items. And of course I can move it by pressing tab or shift tab. Now personally, I like these types of outlining apps for uh, outlining articles. So I'm gonna go into this uh, child node and I'm gonna put down workflowy 
uh, review. So let's say I wanted to review workflow as an article on this my site. So I know yeah, it's all very meta. And then I can press enter and then I can put introduction. What is workflowy? Who created it? Pricing. Who is it for? Uh, feature one, feature two, feature three, pros, cons, competitors, and conclusion. And then I could go in and put a few key notes about each one of these features. So sharing bullet points. And of course I can add images as well uh, into any of these features if I want. But then if I'm, if I'm looking at this particular outline and I'm deciding that, you know what, pricing should be further up, uh, I can go in and I can move this and I can put this up here or I can put it under what is workflowy. And then I can actually just use this to write my article quickly and easily. Or alternatively, if I was asking somebody else to write the article, uh, I can just click share and then I can click enable work or link sharing, copy this link or send it to them over email and I can give them full access, edit access or view access. So I'm gonna click on view access so you can see what the person will get. I'm gonna go back to my uh, web browser, paste in the link and you can see that they have a, a nice little list that they can review, but they can't actually make any changes too. So this is a great way of sharing information with people uh, that you work with. Um, now, personally, I really like Workflow because of its user interface. So I mean, the fact that you can see it, it's visually pleasing to navigate in and out of my parent and child nodes. And it's also incredibly keyboard friendly with uh, the various shortcuts on the left hand side. Now you can use also use Workflowy for planning out what you want to do, um, I suppose each week. So I have experimented it with using it as a type of to-do list app. And Workflowy actually works quite well with dates. So I'm recording this on the 21st of April, uh, 2021. As you can see here, I already have the date here, but I'm just gonna show you how dates work in action. So I'm gonna type in Thursday, and you can see here now you can just press tab to put in today's date. And now I can search for instances of today's date and find any Workflowy note that has today's date and inside of Workflowy and it automatically appears. So basically you could have lots of different child nodes and you could assign something as a task that you need to do on a particular day. And then you could just, when you log into Workflowy at the start of the day, search for today's date, click the down arrow, and then you can see all of the items uh, that you want to do on this particular day. Um, it's also worth pointing out that you can press command enter or control enter to tick off items uh, as you do them and if you want to get them back uh, you can just press command O or control O if you're on Windows and you can untick them. So that's how you'd use it as a type of to-do list. You can also use hashtags, so that's another option and then you can search for hashtags. So if I type up here doing and again it's going to show me all of the items that are marked as doing. So the key thing to understand here is that each one of these parent nodes are infinitely nestable. So you can go as deep into an individual node as you want. And actually, if I go back to my season planner, so I planned out the next three months for projects I want to work on. So I have each month, I have each week, uh, and then I have each day. And then of course I can go, even go into even more detail with specific tasks. Um, so I've hired some writers on Upwork, on Pro Blogger Jobs Board. And then I could put out information about these writers that I've hired uh, in each of these uh, child nodes. But if I find all of the other information extraneous, you know, I can just go in like this by pressing the keyboard shortcut. So that's what Workflow is great at. You can really get in deep into your notes and into your ideas and into your research. Um, and in terms of finding your notes, uh, so the best way to do it is just to simply to search, uh, to be honest. But there is a quick switcher that you can use with Command O or Control O. Um, or sorry, Command K, and you can jump to a specific note. So if I type in Workflowy here, it's taking me to the Workflowy note that I had on screen there a moment ago. So this is another great way of getting at your notes. Um, I actually recommend learning the shortcuts, uh, but you can of course just navigate um, with the sidebar or you can add items by starring them as well. So you do have a couple of different options. Now there is a caveat with the keyboard shortcuts. I've tested Workflowy extensively on the Mac and web browser works fantastic with keyboard shortcuts, but with the iOS version, uh, unfortunately keyboard shortcuts aren't as friendly. So if you have a, an iPad and a keypad, uh, you're probably gonna spend a bit of time pressing the screen. So that is something to bear in mind if you're a little bit nerdy about keyboard shortcuts like me. Flowey has some advanced features as well that I'd like to show you. So the first one is you can actually use a, a basic Kanban board. If you're not familiar with Kanban, it's a type of way of managing your 
what you have to do uh, by visualizing your work on boards. Uh, so to show you it in action, I'm just gonna go back to uh, the seasonal planner and I'm gonna navigate down to, um, let's pick a day where I have lots of different things to do. So uh, yeah, let's go into today. Then I'm gonna navigate into this child node. So now I can change this to a type of Kanban board uh, by clicking from bullets to board. And you can see here that it's turned each item uh, in this child node into a board. And then I can start adding individual tasks. So if I were to say review NFT articles, so these are some articles that I've commissioned about NFTs. Um, so article by uh, Bill, article by Sandy, article by Bob. And then I can drag these uh, as well from one section or I can move them from one section to the next um, or I can just simply tick them off uh, when they're done. So if I click this, I can actually go into the individual node uh, as well. Um, so if I were to go back to the, um, to the parent node, you can see here uh, what the Kanban board looks like. And it's quite a good way of visualizing your work. Uh, to be honest, if you're going to use Kanban boards, I'd actually recommend doing it like this, having it to do, to do, and then doing, and then I would recommend having the other one as done, and then putting in your individual tasks under each column. Um, now, personally, I, I don't find the Kanban boards as intuitive in Workflowy as I do in Trello, which is another type of Kanban board tool. Here's my Kanban board from Trello. So I have to do, doing and done, and I just drag them from one section to the next. But I suppose if you did want to reduce the amount of uh, uh, productivity apps you're using, you can use Kanban boards inside of Workflowy. But personally, I prefer just using it uh, for bullets. So I'm gonna change that back. Workflowy has a couple of other advanced features where, which I also find quite useful. So you can link to different notes inside of Workflowy. So if I press two, if I open, search with two brackets, I can type the name of any other parent or child node inside of Workflowy. So I'm gonna type in things uh, real people have done with Workflowy, which is actually the help documentation about Workflowy that comes with the app. And then when I see this, it's actually linked to this different note. And I can do one of two things. So I can navigate through to this particular note. And these are all the use cases that Workflowy have described. But then if you notice here, there's a backlink section. So it'll show me that where I've linked to this uh, child node elsewhere inside of Workflowy. So it's a good way of building, this was a library uh, of your notes uh, inside of the app. And you can also then um, click on the, uh, sorry, you can put in some notes below this as well. So note one, note two, and then if I go forward into this individual note, uh, I can see the other notes that I've put uh, beneath it as well. So it's a good way of interlinking all of your notes. And that would be my main tip for using these outlining apps is not to worry too much about the structure, much like a Zettel Casting, which I talk about elsewhere in the Become a Writer Today channel. Just let the structure emerge organically. When you open up Workflow, you just dive into uh, a note or write something that's on your mind and then start adding in some relevant contextual backlinks. Workflow we also recently rolled out a feature called Mirrors, which is similar to how the app Roam Research presents information from different notes in the app. To show you how it works, uh, so I'm in today, so I'm just gonna uh, dive deep into this particular child node. And I have an item here, Review Workflowy. So I'm gonna indent by one, and I'm going to use a parentheses to open the mirror rather than a square bracket. Now I'm going to type in the uh, Workflowy notes that I had up on screen a moment ago about what you can use Workflowy for. Now I can expand or collapse this bullet and I can see all of the items inside of this child node. Now I can make changes to them. So I can add uh, book reading lists and let's say I want to take this one off for some reason. I can just mark that as done and it'll replicate the changes uh, in the child node. So if I go through to, um, and of course I can hide or reveal these at any time using keyboard shortcuts. But if you use the quick switcher to go to um, the workflow, what can you use workflow for? You can see that it's replicated my changes inside of this child node. So it's a good way of, I suppose, working on your notes um, within Workflowy in different areas without necessarily wor worrying about where everything is. The main competitor to Workflowy is Dynalist, which I've also reviewed and become a writer today channel. Works very similar to Workflowy, except it goes for more of a file and folder structure rather than parent nodes. And I do walk through that uh, in my video of Dynalist so you can see what that looks like. 
Um, in terms of pricing, uh, at first glance, uh, Dynalist is a little bit more expensive at $7.99 per month. Uh, however, it has some advanced features like syncing with Google Drive, um, and custom shortcuts, and so on. But to be honest, the free version of Dynalist is excellent. So you can do almost everything you can do inside of Workflowy with the free version uh, of Dynalist. So it is an alternative that's worth considering. Uh, that said, at $4.99 per month, you can't go wrong uh, with Workflowy. You know, it is very cheap uh, for everything that this app does. It is more than an outlining app, which I hope you've kind of gathered from watching the video. Hope you did enjoy this uh, review and walkthrough of how I'm using Workflowy. If you did, hit thumbs up. And if you want to get more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel.